right, this is a material sample for Peak Generalization Advanced Abstract Pattern 10P. For this program, we used four train stimuli and four test stimuli. Um, for making these materials, we just took strips of white paper and laminated them, and we had colored poker chips that we had just on hand that we um, used a hot glue gun for to make our pattern. And then we put two anchors on the side, um, and I'll show you. We end up using one strip um, in one direction. So, for example, um, let's see here. For blue, red, yellow, for train, it goes this way. Blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow. What comes next? And then you flip it for the test. So yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, what comes next? So the same strip is used for one train class and then one test class. Same thing for this strip with just a different ABC pattern with green, red, and yellow. Another one there. And then the fourth. Okay, and so once you've kind of got those strips, then what you're going to need to do is pick out maybe cards or pictures. Um, something that has probably the same um, effort for response. We kind of had mixed before a mixture of cards and objects, and we kind of learned that for some of those earlier learners, they tend to pick the thing that is easiest to pick up. Um, so we ended up tweaking it and moving back to all um, card-based uh, to make that a little bit more consistent. Um, but you're going to have a test set and a train set of the items that you're going to need for this pattern. So we have a green shirt, a yellow bucket, a red jello, and a blue car. And you want to kind of keep in mind that if you're using pictures to not have too much color in the background because it could be very confusing and misleading when they're trying to make these patterns. So blue jacket, a yellow car, a red apple, and broccoli. Okay, so you have your train set and your test set. Um, so I'll just kind of run through these so you can kind of see examples of them. So for train class one, blue, red, and yellow. So let's say you're the participant looking at this. Um, so obviously if my participant was on the other side, I'd have this flip so that they're looking at it the right way. Um, but let's say that you guys on camera here are the participant. Okay, so I would show this to you and then I would put out three pictures for you to look at. I'll move this up so you can see. Okay, so you have maybe three choices out. Obviously, you're not going to mix your train and your test um, cards because you want to keep those separate so that you're not um, inadvertently giving any feedback, prompt, or praise on those test class stimuli. Um, so again, you have your strip that is just for train. Test it's going to be different. You're going to show it to the participant. You're going to cover this dot, and then you're going to say what comes next. And they would hopefully pick the blue jacket and put it there, tell you that blue comes next, etc. You could be prompting. So a prompt might be, all right, let's talk about the pattern. Blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow. What comes next? And then prompt from there. Um, so that's one example. And so now I'm just going to show you like number 16 for the test stimuli. Let's say again that you're the participant. So this is from the participant perspective here on camera. And I would put out my three test class options in the field. And then I would cover my dot, so I would say, what comes next? The correct answer is yellow bucket. Obviously, though, I wouldn't be able to prompt reinforce or give any feedback if they pick the incorrect answer. They would just put it up there, and then I would take it away and say, okay, let's do another one, and then keep going from there. But like I said, we made all of these reversible just to have less materials to worry about, and then the both um, dots are on each side so that you can just cover one and have them put what's next, and then flip it back and forth. So you kind of have two for one um, in some of these materials. So that just gives you a kind of a quick idea of what you might use for this program for Peak Generalization Advanced Abstract Pattern 10P.